Two years ago, uh, we lost our eight-year-old son, Andrew, to a medication error. And after we found out why he died, because we didn't know for four and a half months, I discovered that the pharmacists who made the mistake didn't have to report their mistake to anybody, and that nobody would know about the mistake and what had happened unless I called attention to it. So I did that. And um, I had some media interviews, and I started a petition. So all for our, all community pharmacies will have to report all of their incidents and near misses. The results are going to be reports that are then going to come back to the pharmacists, the pharmacies, and they can see where the mistakes were made. Did it actually reach the patient? Did it not reach the patient? And it's really going to allow the teams a lot of opportunities to learn from what happened and to make simple changes. I think that pharmacists want to have a wider scope of practice and they also want to ensure that patients are safe. And we want pharmacies to be a place whereby it is a team effort and that the patient is at the center of everything that is done. And this program is going to help shift that culture and we know that success comes from learning and that patients are going to be safer if they are in an environment whereby the pharmacy staff and the pharmacy team engage in learning constantly and they they implement new strategies for patient safety and if we can reduce the number of errors I mean, that's a toll on healthcare that we can hopefully eliminate or reduce significantly.